an unboxing of our uh, home lab kits. This is the full home lab kit with all the sort of bells and whistles and add-ons added to it. So. Got all the different stuff. So first thing you're gonna get like some codes that'll come with it because it's really a combination of a lot of kits plus extra stuff. So you'll get stuff like uh, links and things that'll take you to online classes and things that will sort of walk you through and a video and all that sort of stuff associated with each experiment um, to kind of give you as much guidance as possible. So I'll just kind of start from the top. This is one of the add-ons. So this is the uh, plant genetic engineering kit, the little plant, right? Um, this you know, we packed up a little bit, and that's actually going out. Um, but it comes with everything, right? So you get the plant. We also have seeds, and uh, you know, it's like its own little pot here. You pot it, but it also has seed starters, so you can uh, start your own seeds. And of course, you can also use your own plants if you already have a plant. Uh, and otherwise, it comes with all the media, all the uh, stuff you need for the experiment because you're gonna like play up agrobacterium, take them, and they sort of carry the, the DNA to the plant for you. So it comes with all the bacteria that you're gonna need. We have some like extra seeds if you wanna make lots and lots of plants. Um, and all this stuff, all this media, uh, is all part of just one of the atoms, right? And so it's like, that's, that's one add-on. This is really cool because it's one of the only ones, that's, or it's the only one that's really a, a macro organism. So like this thing, I mean, it'll get you know, five feet tall if you can genetically engineer it and make it have all sorts of different patterns and colors on it and grow it, put it in a pot. When it outgrows a little pot, put it in a bigger pot and keep it going. The thing can live for years and uh, I'll show everybody your genetically modified organism you made. Okay. Uh, then it comes with some more general stuff, so lots of petri plates, because pretty much everything needs petri plates. Um, and you'll use a lot of those for the experiments, but we send you more than you'll need to do all the experiments. You also have some to like mess around with whatever it is you want. Because this is designed to be like, you know, I want to build my biopacker lab, and I want everything to come in one big box. So, uh, it's got some stuff, like there's some wave oaks and a scale, because every time you're making media, or you're measuring out, you know, ingredients for something, or you're making, like, um, uh, just kind of at the beginning of every experiment, that's be meticulous. So you want a pretty fine scale. So these little scales are nice, they're reliable, and you can measure out all your ingredients really clearly. This is a pretty new one. So this is a colorometer from uh, IORodeo. Uh, we just started including these guys recently. It's basically a teeny tiny spectrophotometer. And the nice thing about that is um, you can measure the concentrations of things, right? So mostly you'll find it useful for like, say you're doing an a experiment where you need to be really meticulous. You can take, um, like you're growing your culture and you need to hit a specific uh, uh, amount of bacteria per volume. So what you'll do is you'll just take it out and measure this and you'll know if it's time to proceed with your protocol or if it's time to uh, stick it back in the incubator and let it grow a little longer. Let's see. These two are together. So this is a heat mat uh, and a timer. Now the timer, um, oh, I say timer, it's a, it's a temperature controller. So you plug the heat mat into the temperature controller, uh, set the temperature to what you want it to be and it'll maintain the temperature. That's really good for if you're growing bacteria. Uh, you can put that in like a box and you can make a tiny incubator out of it. Um, you probably can use this box, honestly. Um, and then, you know, you'll have the ability to put, if you have a human cell add-on, or if you're just growing bacteria, you can set the temperature which you want it to be and maintain the right environment for them. Uh, and this is part of the human cell add-on. So about the human cell stuff. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So, the microscope, the camera, the inverted microscope itself. Flasks, that's what you'll grow your human cells in. These are 12 volt plates. You'll also be growing them in that, which will do the experiment really in there. And so the experiment with human cells is really cool. So one of the first things I did when I got here was 
um, engineer it so that it turns a color. So you uh, take human cells that we said build a little flask, um, and they won't come with the lab kit uh, because there's so much to do that you're going to have to uh, be ready for them when they come in because they don't just store, you can't stick them in the fridge or the freezer or anything like that. So what you'll do is uh, you'll get the lab kit when you're ready to do the human cell part, just shoot us an email, uh, and then we'll send you the cells and the media, the perishable stuff, um, and then you can immediately jump on the experiment when that arrives because you'll have everything set up. Uh, and we kind of recommend doing the bacterial stuff first if you've never done anything with genetic engineering. But what you can do, once you get the human cell stuff, uh, let's see, mm -hmm. <laughs> the perishables are somewhere in here, uh, or parts of them. So what you'll do is uh, you'll grow your human cells in here, you will um, uh, put them in these, grow them out, do a whole experiment, and the, in the process of that experiment you'll genetically engineer them. And that'll, and if everything goes right and you do it properly, you'll see them change color, uh, and you'll be able to see it without using microscopes, you can check out their growth and everything. You have a microscope camera that's plugged into your laptop and you can watch them grow, uh, or you can just look at it through the eyepiece. Um, but the camera is kind of nice because you can take pictures and time lapses and all sorts of cool stuff. And we've got uh, syringes and uh, syringe filters, which will allow you to keep all your media clean, uh, you know, contamination down, and things like that. Uh, let's see, so this is part of the main kit. Uh, and then we just have, I think, yeah, so after that's just main kit stuff. So we have like a PCR stuff. So I, this is uh, a gel box, right? So that allow you to do gel electrophoresis. We've got combs and gel tray and things like that. Lots of pipette tips. So uh, it comes with a full set of pipettes, or that's one of the add-ons you can get, the full set of pipettes. That allows you uh, to really precisely move small amounts of liquid around, which is surprisingly a lot of what you do when you're doing genetic engineering. It's so moving teeny tiny amounts of liquid around that are, need to be measured precisely. So we got this guy, which is the power supply. Uh, this works with the uh, uh, PCR and, and gel electrophoresis stuff. So most of the time, whenever you do something like PCR, uh, a polymerase chain reaction where you make a lot of DNA. Uh, one of the things you need to do is you need to check it and a lot of experiments that you're going to do on your own, not necessarily as part of the kit, but experiments that you do on your own. You have to confirm what you've done. A lot of that will happen in gel electrophoresis. This is the power supply for that because it uses voltage uh, to pull DNA through gel. Let's see. This is a syringe filter, which I feel like a human cell add-on. Let's see. A bunch of media. So we got uh, trisacetate, EDTA buffer, TAE buffer, so that's going to be for gel electrophoresis. And then we just got some general stuff like uh, LB and LB auger, and that'll allow you to make uh, LB plates, which is what you're going to use most of the time for growing bacteria and things. Um, got a nice tube rack. These are nice because it has like small tubes, big tubes, and medium sized tubes. Uh, so you can hold all your various tubes while you're doing your work. Uh, Microcentrifuge tubes. Uh, these would come in really handy, use them a lot for all kinds of stuff. Uh, let's see, this is LB auger, LB amp. So this is a bioluminescent bacteria kit. So this one's really cool because uh, it allows you to grow uh, genetically engineered bacteria that, that actually produce life, they're not fluorescent, they're bioluminescent. So you just go into a dark room and watch them glow. It's one of my favorite things. You can also grow them up in liquid. You can get a big glowing jar of them. Uh, the GFP kit is really nice. It's a little more stable, so it lasts longer. This one's fluorescent, so you make genetically modified bacteria. You do the modification yourself, and you add a gene that makes them make a jellyfish protein that when you hit it with blue light, it grows, it glows green. Uh, let's see, lots of inoculation loops, because you always need inoculation loops. More inoculation loops. Let's see. Lots and lots of gloves, because everything you need is gloves, because you don't want to contaminate your work. These are PCR tubes. So uh, these are smaller than the regular um, uh, microcentrifuge tubes uh, because they fit into PCR machines. Let's see. Speaking of PCR, so this is uh, a pocket PCR. We also sell the full size, like 96 well PCR machines, but in this particular kit, we got pocket PCR. These are really neat. They hold six PCR tubes and you can run six PCR reactions simultaneously. Uh, that's really cool because 
Um, let's say you want to make a new plasmid or you want to like extract a gene from something, you've got like a tree and you want to pull a gene out of that tree. You can just design the right primers, take a piece of leaf, extract DNA from it, put it in the tube, run PCR and make billions of copies of that particular gene and then you can put it in a plasmid, drop in bacteria, whatever it is you want to do. Let's see. Then we've got uh, some antibiotics. So these are useful for selection. So we've got like ampicillin, pentamycin, and stuff like that because a lot of the uh, bacteria, like selecting for them, involves adding antibiotic resistance. So you can kill all the non modified bacteria. So we include some extra for that. And then agarose, because you're going to need that to make uh, the gel when you're running gel electrophoresis. Some glass bottles because you need stuff to melt agarin. Um, pH strips because pH is often important. This will allow you to sort of test the pH of your medias and whatever it is you're making and make sure that you got it within the range you need for your particular uh, experiment. This guy uh, is, again for the PCR, it's, um, it's a gel casting tray. So when you're making your gel, you'll be able to just uh, slap it in this guy instead of having to do all the like weird tape tricks. Uh, Then we've got, so this is the DIY bacterial CRISPR. So this one's cool because you actually do a genomic edit using CRISPR. Um, but yeah, this whole kit, uh, this is like the medium for it. The parish holes are all in here. So, uh, but what it allows you to do is you take the bacteria, you grow them out, you modify their genome rather than just like adding genes in plasmid form. You actually do a genomic edit using CRISPR, um, which is pretty cutting edge, honestly. And then uh, throw them out, and you can see that you succeeded at your genomic edit. This is a film in blue light, which will help you to visualize anything that's fluorescent that you're working with. Uh, more like centrifuge tubes, because you always need more of those. These are perishables. So uh, you get a couple of different strains. You get like E. coli uh, with, uh, you get a couple like lab strains, but you also get some some really cool plasmids like. Uh, P dusk and P dawn, which uh, a lot of people don't know about, but they're really cool because they express their genes depending on uh, the light. So you can grow them in the dark, and P dusk will express its gene, and P dawn will. If you grow them in the light, P dawn will express its genes, but P dusk will. So it's really interesting because it's light controlled genetics. Oh, uh, let's see. And then we got uh, bacterial transformation mix. This is really cool because you can genetically modify bacteria using it. It's sort of like the chemistry that makes the genetics work. Um, and this is the DNA pack, so this just has like various genes. Cas9 for doing CRISPR stuff, uh, templates, GFP genes, lots of different stuff. This is part of the, uh, something you get with the, with the lab kit that helps you do a lot of the other stuff. So we've got like gel stain for your uh, electrophoresis. We've got some primers so you can do a PCR-based experiment using your own cells. You can swap yourself uh, run PCR, run gel electrophoresis, and you can see, and we have instructions for all of that, you can see whether or not you have this particular mutation or not, uh, which is about a, a dopamine receptor. Um, we've got TAC polymerase, loading dye, all the stuff that you need, DNA ladder to do your sort of PCR experiments, and one kind of like example. Right? And the final thing is this guy, uh, which is a, a 10K uh, uh, or, yeah, uh, microcentrifuge. So it'll spin these little tubes, and that's important because there's a lot of times when you have to like collect bacteria, spin them down, and then remove the media and things like that. But it's just spins things really quick for you. So you get all of this stuff, um, you kind of set up your whole lab, um, and get really going on doing all these sort of example experiments. And you'll, by the time you're done, you'll have done like uh, multiple kingdoms, and you'll have done all kinds of different experiments and you'll learn a lot of the protocols that go into this stuff and we have examples for everything. Um, and then at the end, uh, you'll have a good foundation of experience that you can then branch out and start doing your experiments. Uh, so it's kind of like a, a, a lab and a classroom all together.